Here we are in a battle against the Brotherhood. This is an assassination mission. Um, and so the first thing we do is we press the Alt key. Because that shows up things like these special areas. <coughs> you know, sometimes you get a spear or something you can throw at the enemy and they can be quite helpful. But usually they're not in any way useful. Uh, pressing the Alt key also shows you where your troops are and where the enemy troops are. And then you look for this guy, the guy with the exclamation mark. Sorry, this guy. Because um, he's the one that's going to attack first. So if you kill him, you don't take any losses. One thing to note with that is things like this porcupine stance. Um, he's going to reflect some damage about you, so we might actually take some damage. But uh, quite often that sort of thing, if, if it says it's an attack of opportunity, you have to be uh, right next to the enemy to uh, for them to do that. So if you stand back using an axe or something, you won't be hit. You can move your troops around between the spots before... And the battle will only start when you actually click on uh, move and then move him. In his case, his axe has quite a wide range, so I'm hoping I'll get three, but maybe not. Nope, they're too far apart. Okay. So... We have to go a little closer. But notice I'm not touching him. And hopefully that will mean I don't take any damage. So there we go. Two men down and uh, we've already got galvanised. Uh, and he's still got one more attack to go, so I'll take out the single guy over there, I guess. <coughs> he doesn't need any healing from this spot. Um, yep, and he took no damage, even though that guy had the porcupine thing. So, because I stood away from him... Now... Uh, I think it was, might be different this time. Is it? Now this guy's only got the useless Brotherhood charisma. So I should be alright this time to... So we'll hit him with a weakening blow. Oh, before we do that, we'll hit him with a taunt. Means he'll be hit with vulnerability. This might that might not have been necessary, but this guy has Braves Oil, which means that uh, uh, he sh he has to try and expend as many points as possible, because he'll get them all back again. That will cause he's got the um, Helm of Legends, which means that uh, enemy will take 20% extra damage just because he's standing next to the next guy. Again, you look for the guy with the, the exclamation mark on him. And what's he got? Anything special? <coughs> yeah, he's got porcupine stance, so if I stand next to him, I'll be in trouble. And I need some more Valor Points. So some of your troops will generate Valor Points. So it's very important to be aware of which ones are going to generate the Valor Points and which ones are going to use them up. So the last guy um, had no net usage of Valor Points. I think he actually created one or two. Uh, no, I think we'll use Backstabber. Stick him here. Yeah, 
He's going to have a whale of a time. So for him, he's got this belt attached wrench, which gives him 30% extra damage with thrown items. And he's got this axe that automatically gets thrown. Um, so he, and he's got this uh, knife that attacks three enemies. So let's see what happens. There we go, attacked four of them and killed one. <coughs> Hasn't killed the guy we need to kill. Uh, so what are we going to do? We're going to have to... But this uh, axe that he's got attacks every time he uses a Valor skill. So I've got to use lots of Valor skills. Well, that's nice because... Uh, we don't want to throw back anybody at this stage. But using blackout on them might be a good thing. Uh, we might see if we can move a bit further away. If we can go maybe there. Yeah, now we've got four of them. So we hit him again, but didn't kill him, but now he's got blackout, so maybe he won't do any damage next turn. Uh, what else can we do? Oh, well, we can... Oh, we can smoke screen them. Now, this is the case where smoke screening might be a bad idea, because it's going to spread them out, and you actually want your enemies to be concentrated, so when you hit, when you get them with an opponent, of your own, you can smash them with a, an axe or something. They don't. Uh, of course, using these skills could be a bad idea. Unless I actually kill somebody because it'll use up a valor point and move them away from each other. And you want them to be close together, but here we go. Almost killed that guy. He's down to 42. Uh, I think I might try Engaging somebody. I have to use a run command to do that. But we can't get to it. Oh well, I guess we'll go there. And I guess we'll have to pin him down a bit. So we'll switch weapons. And we'll taunt him. So we've killed one. Or was it two? And the others are in a bad way. And <coughs> I haven't suffered a single point of damage. Not particularly successful. Because it's going to attack me now. You missed. <laughs> and he took a, a beating from the infectious oil that I had on me. So that was alright. Alright, who's next? This guy. And who have we got? Oh, the Axeman. Yeah, we'll throw in the X-Men. We can try and undo some of the stuff we just did, I think. We'll go there. We 
because now we can do this. Oh, I said it's going to miss entirely. <laughs> oh, that's not good. All right, let's go back a bit. So that illustrates why it was a bad idea to tell these guys to move apart. <coughs> Now we'll have, to, we'll have to bring them back together again now. That applies fragility to them. So now when we, we can whack them with the X. That's both of them dead. Uh, one of them nearly dead. And we'll hit him with a rough. Um, this guy has Braves Oil uh, and also Braves Oil Concentrate. So again, if he uses a, a Valor-based skill, he's going to do well out of it. Now what we want to do is go somewhere like this. We want him to be able to use that skill. So... run to there. He gets the point back because he's got Braves Oil. And hits him with a cutting. Right, that's two more down. There's only ten left now. Uh, oh, he can... Can't do any more movement. Right. So that's the end of his turn. Now I'm two moves ahead of the enemy. But we continue to attack the one that is most that is next in line. We might just go for the guy who attacks in an arc. Yeah, as I said, <coughs> the important thing to note here is that this guy has Braves Oil on one weapon, but not on the other. So, as long as he's got the Braves Oil weapon uh, showing, he will get the uh, points for having Braves Oil, even if he doesn't use that weapon. And he has this shield, um, which will apply the effect of that weapon. So, uh, we don't have enough movement, so we need to do, he's out, we'll have to use this guy. We need to up the movement of all these guys, so we're going to use him. So now, he's got quite a long-ranged axe that I don't think it's going to reach. Probably I should go... Hmm, give it a try. Switch to his other axe. Yeah, it's not the shield that's not going to do much. I'll hit him with the axe and see what happens. Both of them down. <laughs> Uh, and now we're going to have to use his run capability to hit something else. Like, I don't know, these two. Uh, 
Oh, I forgot about the challenging shout. I always forget that. <laughs> so, if we if you look at the statistics for a <coughs> for a particular weapon like this, in this case the shield, if you then change his, his weapon, you can f often find that. Uh, the amount of damage he's about to do with that weapon is about to change. So it's 72. Now it's 87 because I changed to a different weapon. Uh, Going to hit them with a challenging shout here, even though I don't want to. Just so they get fragility. Oh, bother. I just ran out of valor points. <laughs> I can't use that shield now. 